In this video, you'll learn how to use the new Lumenzia actions in version 5 of Lumenzia. These are designed to offer some basic functionality so that you can use automated macros that you create with some light and dark selections or masks. So let's do a quick demonstration to explain it. I've already created this action, this tone highlights action, and what it does when I play it is create a solid fill layer and overlay blend mode with a black mask that's disabled so I can see it. It's ready for me to start painting in this golden color. But I wanna take it a step further because I wanna create a selection of the light tones in the image because I don't wanna warm up the water. I want that to stay cool. I just wanna warm the highlights here. And so we need to create some sort of like a, a lights to selection would be perfect for this. And we're gonna do that with these new Lumenzi actions. In order to add them in here, if you're in CS6, you can command click on tutorials, you get to this utilities window, or in the CC panel, just drop down to utilities. When you click that, click on load Lumenzia actions, you'll see a little confirmation they've been added. And in fact, we see now there's this new set of actions in the actions panel in Photoshop. So all it did is just put them in the actions panel for you. Now we need to kind of copy and paste them to use them. So let's open this up and you get this huge menu of choices. You've got uh, all the lights masks, all the light selections, dark masks, and dark selections. You can use any of those. Basically, the D through D6 and L through L6 functionality of the panel is available here. And these are gonna look more like the traditional masks. It's not gonna be the exact same mask you would normally get from Lumenzia because I don't have all the ability within the macros to make all the same tweaks, but it's gonna be very, very close to what you would get from Lumenzia. Certainly for the selections, you really won't see any difference, but it's, it's gonna be the same character, but just give you the ability to automate things. So what we're gonna do here is grab L2 because I wanna create a lights to selection in my macro. So let's expand this so we can see all the steps. And what we need to do is essentially duplicate these up above. So you wanna select all of the active steps. You don't necessarily need the, uh, the stops that are at, at the beginning and it doesn't really matter. You can select them or, or not, but we wanna copy them. In order to copy them, you hold down the Alt or Option key and then just click and drag to where you want to place the copy and I'll let go and see how there still exists here. So we created a copy. If I didn't hold down the Alt or Option key, they would have been moved up above. Uh, in this case, they're, they're copied up above. If you ever, for any reason, destroy or damage these below, you can always go back into the Utilities menu and just simply load the actions again, and voila, there they are. So don't worry if you ever do anything to damage them. It's very easy to recreate them. But we now have our macro that has the additional steps to create this selection. So let's see how that looks. I'm gonna get rid of what we did a second ago. And now let's run this macro. And we see in doing so, we now have a luminosity selection that's active. I'm gonna click on our layer mask using a white paintbrush on the layer mask. I can now paint through that luminosity selection and notice that you know, even though I'm painting pretty aggressively with a very big brush, it is not painting into the blue. And let's up the flow so you can really see what's going on here. So we are painting through a luminosity selection as a part of our macro workflow. And so those are the new Lumenzia actions. We can see we've made this quick adjustment working with a macro, really nice result. And for those of you who are creating automated actions, I think you're gonna find this just a really helpful way to control those basic light and dark selections and masks you work with.